one of the most common uses of meditation by New Age practitioners is what some would call quote unquote love magic, or more appropriately for love lust relationships. Um, the ability to attract positive, hopefully intimate social relationships into your life. But what happens when these relationships go bad? Uh, maybe magic was used in the development of the relationship, or for many reasons it could maybe be employed for its resolution. Or maybe you know someone else who feels trapped in a loveless or uh, unhealthy relationship. Many psychologists compare ending a relationship to breaking a bad habit. Uh, according to like the what the bleep scholars, you can actually develop chemical dependency to the emotions you feel in everyday life, even if they are negative. Uh, this makes a breakup much more complicated than simply ending the physical relationship. Uh, the efforts of separation meditations are uh, kind of twofold. There's, there's the physical overt aspects of the relationship, but then there's also the internalized, um, you could call it metaphysical, metapsychological, the mind, the mental facets uh, that should definitely be attended to. It's the mental game that brings us into the relationships and, um, you know, for uh, lack of other means readily, sometimes mental um, upgrades through meditation can help to resolve uh, attachments, energetic links, the vibrations um, that are maintained uh, after a relationship has ended. Um, and even if it is to uh, continue later on, the separations are critical for the uh, resolution of the past energies. Um, so then, um, it's important though to understand the uh, exchanges that take place, these, these energetic links that are still attached, uh, can later manifest as emotional issues uh, that are mentally connected to experience and uh, can become significant hindrances to true development. So this proposition of uh, an idea of a meditation comes from the Arcanum um, book, um, and uh, it's basically a candle meditation. Uh, the best um, fragrances uh, for these types of meditations that we found are, that resonate well, um, rosemary and lavender, which you can get in stick form. Um, and uh, here are some other things that you need, as well as the intentions behind them. Uh, to keep in mind when you are performing your meditation. First and foremost, a candle representing yourself of an appropriate color significant to you. Secondly, you will need a candle to represent the other person. Uh, if you're a third party, you can choose candles to re represent each individually and then uh, mark the candles with a knife appropriately in runic letters or simply their name. Place a black candle between the two candles representative of the people involved and the black candle is indicative of the energetic qualities of loss, the separation itself, the negative energies of the past involved with the relationship. A pink tapered candle can be placed representative of the pure and true love in the universe. And this is placed uh, opposite of the other person's candle uh, between, or actually your, your candle would be between the two. Um, so you have the pink candle, your candle, the black candle, and their candle. And each consecutive night, you move the two candles away from each other, away from the central black candle and the candle representative of yours is moved closer to the pink candle. If you are performing this meditation as a third party, uh, you can incorporate light green candles to represent uh, jealousy and discord. Um, it helps to incorporate that emotional involvement 
as a third party because you personally do not have any interests other than uh, probably helping out a friend. Uh, hopefully you're not doing this for profit. Um, you don't have any personal interest involved, so to have the emotional energy to perform a third party um, magic for others, uh, it helps to use the light green candles to um, aid a separation. Um, because uh, this type of idea can be used to cause separation, ease separation, uh, if you are one of the people involved, or even if you are a um, concerned friend, you know, who wants to try to end an abusive relationship. So, um, as far as incantations, uh, the intentions should be, as you light each candle, what it is that the candle represents, otherwise um, you're just lighting candles. Um, the uh, uh, visualizations, um, always when involved with things like this, the visualizations are supposed to be as if things are of the here, um, not desires of the future that remain uh, in, in, in captive in future ideals. It, it's visualized here and now. Um, you know, I've been talking to some people about this kind of idea the last several weeks, and um, the most common uh, visualization, so to speak, is uh, uh, walking away. Um, as you're moving the candles apart, the, um, just the visualization of, of the walking away. And the idea of bringing your candle uh, closer to the pink is more to uh, just encourage that acceptance that, you know, not to uh, remain hostile or bitter um, based on this experience, which is clearly an experience that uh, you, you needed to have for your personal experience, your personal program um, to grow, to develop. So those are thoughts on separation meditation.